Hello and welcome to a new Tech It tutorial. This is let me see, the fourth tutorial in our series. And as you can see, I have upgraded our solar panels. We used to have four, now we have eight, so now we have more than sufficient power. Okay, so the the subject for this tutorial is going to be the transmutation tablet at first. Now the transmutation tablet is a machine that allows you to transmute items into other items. And yeah, I'll show you the crafting first. So to make the, the transmutation tablet you need something called a philosopher's stone. Now the philosopher's stone is made of out of a diamond, redstone and glowstone. The the only way you can get glowstone is to go to the nether. So I have done that already. I need to make a portal with obsidian. You can do that with lava and water or you can get the diamond pick and mine it to build the portal. Okay, so you get the, your philosopher's stone. Now the philosopher's stone is a part of the equivalent exchange mod. So this can be used to transmute diamonds into gold and gold into diamond. And this, all this equivalent exchange is based on all the items' values. So it, it's like you can't transmute uh, a stone into a diamond. You know, it has certain values already in the game. So to make a transmutation tablet, on it like that, like this. You need four obsidian and four smooth stone. That makes you a transmutation tablet. So you will still have your philosopher stone afterwards. It's good to know. So you put down your transmutation tablet, and the way this works is, let's say we have some tin and some copper, and we need some iron. Okay. So first, you need to learn all the different things to your transmutation tablet. So now it has nothing. If I put in copper, oh, okay, yeah, okay. So mine has, yeah, mine has because I have already made one earlier, but not on this video. So yeah, at least you have to put in thing every time to make them make the transmutation tablet learn. So it says this. Maybe not. Let's see if I can get. See that learned. It learns new things and then you can craft them. Let's say we want some iron. We can put in some copper here. Um, now we can take a tin. Learned iron. So, yeah. And let's say we want some cobblestone. We can also put things here in the middle. And then it, it stops at that value. So you can get lower value items as well. So that's that. I think now we will start going on our QRE. Okay, so for our QRE we will need some uh, gears. First we will need some wooden gears. For that we will need sticks. That's what's so great about the transmutation tab. So now we put in sticks here. And we can burn some, let's say, tin. And we take out our, st our sticks. I always like making loads and loads of gears in the beginning. So I will always, always need them later on. Okay, so 64 wooden gears. And we need some cobblestone. Because now we will be upgrading these gears into more better and better gears until we get to diamond. Okay, so 32 stone gears. And we need seven seven iron gears okay seven iron gears and we need some more gold oh okay let's take some tungsten that's worth a lot and some tin emerald ruby also oh, stuff I got my friend is going as well I got oh it's awesome Okay, so we we'll need we will need sixteen gold. Let's get that eight, ten, eleven. Some more. Oh. 
Okay, and we need some more diamonds as well. We'll actually need eight diamonds, so let's just burn down this. And this tungsten. Oof, that's worth a lot. Okay, let's do some more. That's ruby. Okay, I think that will do. So we need four gold gears. Four gold gears, and then we need two more diamond gears. That's great. Okay, and we will. Oh, yeah, we will also need a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> I guess I don't have one of those lying around. Take some lapis lazuli. Uh, some more, I guess. Copper. Have some here. Okay, so yeah, I have already learned it to my transportation. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Now we can make our QR. Okay, so we put the recipe is diamond pickaxe on the bottom and diamond gears, gold gears, iron gears, and a redstone. That makes a QR. Okay, so that makes our QRE, and this QRE, it's a automatic miner, if you didn't know. It's, it mines, you set it up in a area, and it will start digging out everything beneath it, in a huge area. So, we will need, now we will need something to run it. So, what we need is a engine, an electric engine. And I prefer electric engine because that it runs on electricity. Now you can also make combustion engines that runs on oil, but they they will blow up when they get too hot. So I prefer electric engine. They're a little slower, but they're okay. Okay, so we need some more stuff. One iron. Vitamin plants. There we go. Okay, so first we need to make a piston. Because in, cool. in every engine you need a piston. Okay. Uh, like this. Piston. And you put the piston in glass first. Okay. And for this, um, for this specific engine, the electric engine, you will need some tin gears. Okay, it's two, two fingers. Two fingers. <laughs> okay, and glass and tin on the top. That makes a electric electrical engine. Sorry. And yep, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Lever to run the and some. We need to make something something called a landmark to mark up the area we want our QR to go so the way we make that is sticks and first we make a redstone torch we won't need more than three actually and we put lapis lazuli on top that makes landmark okay so I'll just gather some no hold on first we need something called pipes now the pipes in, in tech it is from the buildcraft mod. I th think I will cover this later. But for now it's you can transport send I items. You can make all kinds of pipes. You just surround glass with two things on the side, two to wood, two stone. And that makes a basic transport pipe. And inside e pi each pipe you can send different stuff from a chest to another or so or so or such. Okay, so just gather the rest we need for our carry and we will start setting up. Okay, so the way we put up our carry is first we find our area and we start putting out our landmarks. So first put down one landmark in in the corner of the area we want your carry carry to build to, sorry to the to dig to dig sorry. Okay. 
So you put down two markers like this and you right click one of them. It will mark up the area for you. So if you put down a third one, like that, it will mark up the entire rectangle. Okay, so then you go back to wherever you want your carry to come from. Where So it's important that you consider uh, putting your carry close to your house or something because you have to transport all the stuff it digs out in pipes. Look at that. So it, it uses the, the landmarks as a frame. Kind of. And then we need to put up our pipes from whatever side of our carry. But I prefer putting them beneath. And we just lead them back to our house and preferably into a chest and it's also possible to I will cover that later in, in my build, build craft tutorials I guess but because with these pipes you can make some diamond pipes and with those you can sort out different items and make them go into different chests so we put down our electrical engine by the side of the QRE and then it will automatically turn to your, your QRE and put the lever behind your engine and we also need to supply the engine with electricity now so if we just pull this cable back to our house This video is getting kind of long. Let's get over with this. Oh no. I'll get some more. I made another few cables. So let's connect this last bit. And there we go. The carry should now be working. We pull our lever. And there we go. So it will start running. And first it will set up this frame, and when the frame hits all of it, it will start digging down. So I'll skip forward when it starts digging, so you can see. And here we go, our QRE is fully functional. And you can see there the mining thing is going back and forth, and it's sending out dirt over here. So the dirt gets out, we load the QRE, and it goes all the way back to our house into our little chest so yeah thanks for watching that will be all for this tutorial and please subscribe if you want to be keep be posted sorry, be posted on my upcoming tutorials and i appreciate all feedback so see you next time